So if you look at our business laws, if you look at even our, our just the legal laws that we work with, any other law, even look at our hospitals, they should be built based on the understanding and the culture of the people. If you pick a seed, the, fee, the seed germinates. Yeah. Everything is in that seed, isn't it? But we are trying to superimpose something on us and expect to grow with it. It does not work. Now, the education to develop that system has also been truncated. And so when I go to school, 90% of what they teach me is probably an English culture. Mm -hmm. It's not really an education. Right. Because the way my grandfather was doing farming should be the one that they teach me in school. With maybe science, data, research on that. But here's the case they put my grandfather's practice somewhere. And then they give me a practice from England, in Ghana, in Hamatan. So if I complete that school and I'm not able to do anything, what do you blame me? And so we should come to a point where we build our own. That's how the development will come. Trying to say that, okay, when we practice it like they do, they do it in this country, it means that we are, we are developing a lot. And that's why we have left a lot of our people behind. After all, I'm in Ghana, I go to school and I have to speak English. At what point did English have to become the standard language? You know, have you not come of age to say that our, our primary schools, our secondary schools, our universities should have some of our local languages? When we were in the university, I went to Kwame Kwame University, the professor who was teaching us English was using chi. Was it from the into where I know what's the actual The more he answers, the more he a subject. And then when verb, now I say, "Bro, for that, we can't be doing that. You can't reason with it." And I think he was right. You can't develop a people in the absence of their own identity, their own culture. And 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 so long as you continue to do that, you have not educated them. And so they cannot build that system that you are expecting. So you have something in your mind that this is a country that has, but at what point did we intentionally? put these structures in place to say that this is how a nation is developed. Kabana, but do you think that even if Ghana was to say, okay, we're going to have a language in Ghana, mm. we would agree? The Ghans would say this, the Asantis would say this, the Ewes. Everybody should say something. But when they told us to sleep, we slept. We didn't agree with the president. Somebody must say that if we want to develop, these are the things that we must have in place. If you don't do that, then don't expect that development. So I think that we are trying to just play it safe because we're really not determined to develop as a people. You know, we want to practice the democracy, we want to practice the election, you know, sports, entertainment, and those are dominant. But innovation, industry, business, wealth creation, those things we are not intentional. Because for you to be intentional about it, it means that you must develop a people who, are, who have confidence in themselves and they can innovate upon what they have and what they know.